Good morning, everyone. I'm back. This is Nicole with another video. And if you can see from the title, it is about the unfortunate suspected murder of Dr. Timothy Cunningham, a leading epidemiologist at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention located in Atlanta, Georgia. This is an article that came out about a day ago from AOL.com. I will leave the link to the description box. My condolences and my heart goes out to my prayers, go out to his family, his friends, his coworkers, loved ones, because they truly lost a significant member of their family and a leader in science. I knew of his work a while back and I knew of this tragedy a while back, but I didn't want to speak on it immediately. I wanted to gain more information and um, just develop my thoughts of what I was gonna say. I just finished watching a segment of the Jedi Revolutions video, his second video about this subject. He has done two videos now. And um, I stopped the video just to start this video because I recognize patterns. If you are conscious and aware of your history and environment we live in, we have to be able to recognize patterns. In order to survive in the wild, um, wild animals have to be able to recognize a pattern. Predators do this, the prey do this as well. So in recognizing patterns and also seeing symbols Different, different types of symbolism related to these suspected murders that the mainstream media is claiming to be suicides. The police are claiming to be suicides. I found that there are quite a few cases where individuals within the scientific community or citizens in general, um, civilians, have been found dead, but not only dead, they've been found near bodies of water. Now, according to alchemists, and according to alchemy and, and science, um, metaphysical related philosophy, the symbol for water is an inverted triangle, an inverted pyramid. So it would be a triangle pointing south, pointing down fire would be the opposite, a pyramid pointing to the sky, pointing up. And with that, I am not on a conspiracy theory type thing, so don't get me wrong. But there's something wrong with what's happening. I know it's been said with judges, lawyers, um, people in uh, seemingly powerful positions to end up dead from something they've said, something they've done, something that they have attempted to accomplish. And I know I've talked about this before, perhaps in another video, I've heard other people talk about it as well. Um, but this article goes into some detail and there is a video here that I will play in a minute. Um, I think it's a quick video that discusses some of this case and the title of this, uh, this comes from, it's April 6th, so just published today, a few minutes ago, about 10 minutes ago. It says, body of missing CDC doctor, Timothy Cunningham, found in Atlanta River. Another thing I will say, Dr. Cunningham was in the military, and as, as a Navy I believe in the Navy, 
as a military official and as a person who just received a promotion back in July 2017, the police claims that he did this because he was passed over for promotion. We already know that was a lie. Lisa Cabrera has talked about that. That was clearly a lie. They do that a lot to suicide us so that they don't have to do their jobs, right? They don't have to investigate a murder that could have happened. Oh, God forbid someone killed a black person, right? So he was found in the Atlanta, in, the, in an Atlanta River. And what they won't say is the name of the Atlanta River. The name of the Atlanta River is the Chattahoochee River, the same river where police witness Wayne Williams, who I think is a patsy, was seen by police driving away after body was dumped into the Chattahoochee River. If you remember the Atlanta child murders, and I don't know why they call them Atlanta child murders. Um, these were adults, but they call them Atlanta child murders, I guess, to gain, uh, it was a propaganda type um, strategy. And <clears throat> so you have the same thing occurring with the doctor who worked at the CDC. It, this is not a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't think coincidences exist in our society. I'll play the video in a minute. I just wanted to mention something here. Um, the body of, he was 35 years old. He was found by a fisherman in Atlanta. They keep saying in an Atlanta river. It was like I said right here, the Chattahoochee River on April 3rd, three days ago. It's been seven weeks, almost two months since he disappeared on February 12th. Medical examiner, in Fulton County, Dr. Jan Gorniak, and I question her credentials, said on Thursday that there were no sounds of signs of foul play and that Cunningham's preliminary cause of death is believed to be drowning. If he was a Navy officer, he knew how to swim. And I think they said he had on his tennis shoes. Who tries to swim with tennis shoes on and then drowns? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. There are a lot of drugs, a lot of things that you could inject somebody with that is that are untraceable, that don't affect you for a few hours or you know maybe 24 hours later. They haven't talked about any injection marks on his body, which would have shown up, you know, days after death. So I, ha I question that. Are there any points of injection on his body? Are there any signs of um, his liver would be one of the first organs you look, look at to determine its temperature and also to determine any type of toxins. You know, they need to do a toxicology report on him. Um, it would be futile to do that. Like I just said, there are some substances that cannot be traceable after death. They're only traceable when you're alive. Um, and then this, the major Michael O'Connor of Atlanta Police Department says, we may never be able to tell you how he got into the river. Meaning we will, I'm reading that as saying, we'll never be able to determine who did this to him. And he was a highly regarded, highly regarded epidemiologist. The epidemiologist is someone who studies the biostatistics um, and statistical patterns. They're basically a professional pattern recognition, recognition um, technician that determines how diseases spread across large populations um, of people. Ebola outbreak would be a, one instance back in the 80s, HIV AIDS and um, so forth so he I think like I said was killed but I'm gonna play this video let's see if I can make it bigger um, let's see there we go <laughs>
to know is who talked to him, what kind of interactions he had before February 12th. That's what I would like to know. I have some tabs here that I want to um, show you because um, this is disturbing to me to see all of these patterns. Um, now this is from ABC7 here in Los Angeles that says, woman's body discovered near Los Angeles River in Long Beach. The date, this is April 6th, April 6, 2017. They never say who the woman is. So this was a mystery case. I want you to notice the water. There's another story. This is about the controversial case of the Atlanta child murders and Wayne Williams. This was published this year, January 5th. 2018 this is coming from investigation discovery at least 28 african-american children and adults vanished before their dead bodies were discovered oh this is an ad here there's an ad on here let me turn it sideways I can try to get rid of this mess. Uh, okay. Dead bodies were discovered in isolated areas. Although most of the dead were children and teenagers, six victims were men in their 20s. The youngest victim was seven years old, Latanya Wilson, who disappeared on June 22, 1980. And um, this, okay, this little article right here is getting on my nerves. I can't get rid of it, but... Um, that's another case. Now let me go back to my tabs. They do stuff like that. They put these little stupid ads up that no one wants to read when you're reading a very important article. This one's from the New York Post, 2017. Look at the date. I want you to look at the date and the place, the places where the bodies were found. April... 12th 2017 New York Post judge found dead in Hudson River was a force for good and that's the medical examiners uh, removing her body from the river there she was the first Muslim woman in US history to serve on the bench why they're not saying her name in the beginning I don't know this is a picture of her um, Sheila Abdus Salam, 65 years old, discovered floating in the water near 132nd Street and Hudson Parkway around 1.45 p.m., according to the police. She was fully clothed, and someone saw, a witness saw her body fully clothed, and they called 911. That's according to the police, once again. I have to keep saying that because the police just lied about Dr. Timothy Cunningham saying that, oh, he may have uh, committed suicide because he was passed over for a promotion. So if one of them lies, I consider all of them to be liars. They've lied too much. Their history shows that they are not able to tell the truth, even when they tell the truth. Like a video I just watched earlier of Professor Black Truth, even when they tell the truth, they lie. Recently with the Devonte Hart, with the Hart fake heart family where six children were killed by two white lesbians I did a video about that they were killed near water near the Pacific Ocean the largest ocean in the world they were all killed three children in the car the two parents the two um, lesbians the two sexual deviants drove off a cliff about a hundred feet down car was found flipped over killed right by the water I don't know about the other three children I'm, I'm assuming that they're dead as well from what Professor Black Truth said they're also dead that includes Devante that this is another case death near water and this is the last one I have 
right now because I just started thinking about something. I was like, there's a lot of people getting killed near water. Something is not right. This was published May 25th, 2017. Federal prosecutor found dead along the beach. He worked as the U.S. attorney at the U.S. attorney's office in Miami. A dead along Hollywood Beach. His name was Barrington J. Wisenant Jr., 37, of Miramar, Florida. It said he suffered a head wound caused by a possible gunshot or other type of trauma. Either it's a gunshot or it's not a gunshot. What is the other type of trauma? Either you got shot in the head with a gun or you got hit upside the head with a blunt force object. So right there, I question this article and I question what, they, what they're reporting. I'm not giving this as a way to um, question people's authority or to negatively portray um, certain sources, but I'm a scientist, you question everything, okay? Not even as a scientist, as a human being, in the, as a black person in this society, you are supposed to question everything. And I think that Dr. Cunningham was doing his job a little too well as in terms of investigating something. Could have been about the flu virus, could have been about Ebola, could have been about anything. But he questioned something and did his job a little bit too well and he just happened to be the wrong color. And I would say that would be similar for some of the other people excluding the child murders, but some of the other people, the judge, uh, Judge Salam, and Mr. Wisenot, the attorney in Miami. My condolences go out to their families and friends. I hope you all can start to think about some of these cases. Maybe this video will help you put it into perspective. I may come back with another video, but I wanted to give this as a way into my mind to see how I think about some of these cases. We have to recognize patterns and as black people, we cannot have a short term memory. All of these cases bring my mind to medical apartheid. Bring my mind to the delectable Negro because when you're literally eaten like the non-white victims of Jeffrey Dahmer or you are consumed by death it's still a form of consumption and I don't feel any kind of good way about it at all if you don't attempt to rationalize what's occurring it will terrify you especially a person in a certain position you know in, this, in life sciences natural sciences a person who is a, a natural medicine professional um, healthcare professional it puts you in a very awkward position at times when you're thinking about these things one may you know draw certain conclusions based on what they've seen or based on what they've experienced themselves but I want to give this as a like I said a look into what I think how I think about these situations and I hope that you all leave comments let me know what you think I'll come back with another video soon as always have a great day stay vigilant stay vigilant excuse me stay safe and <clears throat> enjoy your weekend if I don't talk to you soon you know enjoy your weekend and enjoy your time with your families enjoy your time with your long your loved ones spread the information that you learn to people that you care about that's all I ask I don't you don't have to put my name on anything just spread the information okay thank you all I'll talk to you soon.